Hi everybody. I'm coming to you right now for a special quick tip. Um, so this all started last night while I was watching an episode of Chopped and they had this beautiful Swiss chard in the, in the basket. And this young guy takes the Swiss chard and cuts off all the stems. And it was beautiful rainbow chard like this. Look at this. Look how bright yellow this is. Isn't that beautiful? It's like gorgeous. And then the bright red. You know, sometimes there's some green ones in there too. But usually when you get the rainbow, it's the reds and the yellows. And look at the size of these leaves. I mean, they're huge. And these aren't even as big as some of the ones. This one's even bigger, I think. Look at that. So anyway, what I want to do is give you guys a quick tip. First of all, we have the tendency to cut stems off of everything. And honestly, if this is growing this way, all the minerals from the earth go up through the stem. The stem's got so many vitamins. Yes, the green has all the vitamins from the sun and the stem has the vitamins from the earth. And together, this is a beautiful, really good for you food and really tasty. Also add some texture. So, you know, leaves are gonna be soft and mushy, but this is gonna give you a little bit of a bite. So all you wanna do right now, I'm making a lunch for Pasquale and I. I'm just making a quick little soup. And so I'm making some greens and beans, you know, and um, you can use any kind of greens, but I had this beautiful chard and I wanted to use it up. So I'm just gonna give you a quick tip. Just, you know, kind of cut it down the middle. Okay, if you wanna trim off, I had already trimmed these, but if you wanna trim off just the little teeny bar part at the bottom that might have a little brown to it, you know, just cut them down the middle so that you're spreading the love here. And then you're gonna, you know, kind of do the same thing with the leaves. Just kind of give them a quick slice and you can cut them up a little bit more afterwards. And then just, wait a minute, that's a little ugly piece at the bottom. Just put that off. Okay, and then just cut these up and put these in your food. Look at how pretty this almost looks like, almost looks like red and green pepper pieces, but it's got little pieces of green leaf stuck to it. So anyway, so I have in my pot already the normal carrot, celery, and onions already started to saute and some garlic. And now I'm just gonna put in um, these here to saute just for a couple minutes. So what I start my soup with is some olive oil and then I saute my veggies real quick and then I'm gonna put my water in. So let me put this back on. I turned it off for a second just so I could. Okay, it's on. So I'm just gonna cut this up. Put this in the soup. These are really big, so even you fold them over, kind of cut them down the middle. This one leaf is like monster. Okay. And then just kind of roll it up and then just keep cutting it and put it all in. I just kind of keep rolling it as I go, it gives me more. Uh, Cutability. I don't know what other word to use. Okay, and so you've got all these nice pieces. Some are longer, some are shorter. This is all going to go in here to sweat a little bit with my veggies. Then I'm just going to throw in some beans. This is about a cup and a half of beans. And then just going to really quickly show you how pretty. The colors, oh, the colors are in here. Look at this. Now, once I put the water in, they start to cook down. It's gonna dull a little bit, but it's still a beautiful, bright, wonderfully tasty soup. And I have some little teeny weeny pastina here. These are the acini di pepe, those little pepper seeds as they call them, uh, peppercorns. Um, they're little teeny, little teeny balls. So just because I'm making just enough for Pasquale and I today, I am gonna put the pastina in the soup. Otherwise, if there was more of us, or if I was making a lot to save for tomorrow, I would cook the pasta separate, and then put a little bit of the pastina in my bowl and put the soup on top. That way it doesn't get too thick and gunky. Um, it's good to get a little bit thick and help thicken it in the beginning when, it, like when you're gonna eat it right away. But if you're gonna try to save some for tomorrow or something, cook the pasta separate from the soup. That's my tip. So anyway, Swiss chard, use the whole stems, it's tasty, it's colorful, it's beautiful, and it's really good for you. And that's my soup tip for the day. I put 
some bunch of green almost every soup I make. So think about it. Get one little bunch as you're um, walking through the store, one little bunch of Swiss chard, one little bunch of kale. Um, what else? Um, no, you know, whatever other greens you can cook with. I've even put romaine lettuce in there. Romaine's got a lot of vitamins and it's because it's hearty, it's good in a soup. So anyway, there you go. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.